scrapbook from me to you on YouTube to watch of what I did in June 2018. Enjoy! I'm just in one of the booths at City Glasgow College making my very last show on City Radio called Sandy Underground. It's been tricky to start making Sandy Underground, then it got really easy by the end, and now it's going to be the last show on City Radio. And it's been great showing off YouTube artists and Scottish artists and things that are going around in Scotland within the radio show Sandy Underground. Um, I'm going to miss it, City Radio, because like the booths are like good for us because we get time to figure out what we're going to do. The, the, they're really big, like it's like the biggest comfortable place I've been in making a radio show because like I feel so relaxed, it's big, about 8 people can fit in that room and in the teaching room 20 people can fit in there. I love City Radio and I mean there are a few issues we do have at City Radio like technical issues but you know what we've got through it. I got this some shows and they're on mixed clouds. That was Amy McDonald. This is the life. Yes, this is Sandy Underground with me, Danger Debs, on City Radio. Please tweet us on City Radio on Twitter to tell us what you're doing for the summer, because you must have plans. When I met you in the summer. That was Selfie by Nia Nesbitt, who's actually a Scottish artist, which always surprises me when I look at her or hear her, because she doesn't sound Scottish. Um, selfies. Are you guys going to take selfies this summer? Of course you are. You're a teenager going to transmit. You're a teenager going to fringe. Or you're just an adult who likes taking selfies. What are you going to do at transmit? Well, you're going to hear a lot of bands that sound like this. Yeah. <laughs> I was just on the train and there were some people talking about the worst group ever. They made it a thing called Jello. And then they made it a thing called Jello Wrestling, which is where wrestlers wrestle on jelly. Oh yeah, make that into a business. Glasgow School of Art has been on fire for the second time. This is the second
second fire we've had in Glasgow this year. This is not good. This is the other side. The ABC 02 has been affected too because of the fire. I've just done something I may regret, but I'm glad I did it because of health and safety reasons. I mean, that's me, the opposite of danger. So, look what I did. Tumika's wig has been cut. Look at all that hair. The hair bubbles were from my head all the way below my waist. And when I was taking cuts out of one of these ponytails, it took me more than an hour and it was ridiculous. I'm going to SunnyCon as Tumika, I've decided now, and I do not want to wear the wig all the way from Glasgow to Newcastle. No way. <laughs> I mean, people may be disappointed, but I feel more safer now. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm going to sort that cosplay out before tomorrow, because tomorrow is SunnyCon. Okay, I'm gonna try and do this in one take. Hey guys, it's Danger Depths. Oh my goodness, I had the best day at SunnyCon. <laughs> like, here's the story. I missed the train, but I got to Newcastle. Then I saw some little maids, and I followed them all the way from the train station to where SunnyCon was gonna be, at St. James Park. And there was a big queue. We were waiting in the queue for 40 minutes to get into SunnyCon. It was so big. There was like a, a floating dinosaur. Um, there was so many people there. Um, I was Tumika. I was waiting to dress in some cosplay costume as Tumika. That was the first thing I did. I went to the bathroom dressed up as Tumika, and I didn't realise I left half myself in the bathroom. Luckily, after I interviewed some people for my cosplay podcast, um, I found my stuff because somebody actually like had the sleeves Tumika, had this stitch hoodie, mine with them and you get back to me, I was like, oh my goodness. And someone was actually filming that. <laughs> someone was filming that, thank you Katie. <laughs> so, I didn't know I lost them until they actually gave it back to me. Oh, but at the same time, I met somebody, Heather and Amy, who were also a Tunamika. Heather was a Tunamika, but as a bride. And Amy was a Tunamika as like the death of Tunamika. Like she was black and Heather was a bride. Black, darker, darker and white. Um, and after that, I saw Henry. I bumped into him. He's good. We did a something for his cosplay music video. That's the first time I've been in the cosplay music video. I cannot wait to see it. I love his music videos. Um, I wonder what the song's gonna be. Uh, after that, I interviewed somebody. Um, I talked about their uh, comic, what it was called. But I had the best day ever, seriously. This story keeps on going forever. Uh, I was on the level two floor for about three hours. It was that good. Level four, I looked around and then listened to a panel and it was good, it was good. And then after that panel, turns out whoever was managing all the panels at SunnyCon studied radio and was at the radio student conference. I was like, you were there too? You can watch that video. You can watch that vlog. First day and second day on my YouTube channel. When I was at re <laughs> Sorry, like, I met a lot of people at SunnyCon who are in the radio industries, who are Scottish, who are cosplayers. I've met new friends. I've had such a great day. I have literally just cried on the tray because I've had such a good day. I love in life right now. Let this car go past, then you can hear me. Okay, the guy who just went past us just saw me, he's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Where were we? Where were we? <laughs> After the panel, I had an hour left, so I just went around and nothing much was happening. Music. Yeah, I've met a lot of people at SunnyCon. After SunnyCon, I walked with Lauren because we had to do the intro and the outro for the po cosplay podcast. So I was going to do it with her again. Um, once I got to the train station, 
Oh my goodness, something surprisingly happened to me. I was like, OMG. I was still cosplaying at Tanamika. And my oldest friend from my childhood, I'm talking about four years old, noticed me. And I was like, this is not meant to happen. You are not supposed to see me cosplaying. And he did. Oh my goodness. David, that was not meant to happen. But I'm so glad I bumped into him because I met his wife, his new wife, Charlotte. In my head, it was like a dream meeting her. So I remember mentioning her on Facebook saying like, oh, I'm so happy you got engaged. So happy about that. I met them and we talked a while and I was still in my cosplay costume. That was not my dad. <laughs> but um, that, that was amazing. Oh my goodness. <laughs> so it's been a great day. Now it is almost midnight in Paisley. And I'm just walking back home. Oh my goodness, it's been such a great day. I've met so many people, I've met so many cosplayers, I've met so many people in the radio industries just going to SunnyCon. This was so good, like, it was so worth it thinking going to SunnyCon on the last minute just to do it for Cosplay Podcast. Just to do it for Cosplay Podcast. But you know what? I didn't do it for Cosplay Podcast. I did it for myself. I loved it. I want to go again. I met so many people, like, not just cosplayers, but people in the radio industry since everybody who's like in my world. Oh! And now I'm going home to see the best boyfriend ever. <laughs> day has just been the best day ever. Oh my goodness. And then tomorrow I'm heading home to Inverness. So basically, this is almost the best week I'm gonna be. Oh my goodness. June's been amazing. Oh, I'm so glad I'm doing this scrapbook vlog. Um, anyway, I better keep on walking because I need to head home, go sleep and be ready to go to it first tomorrow. I'm at Glasgow Comic Con and look at these beautiful fairies I've just met. Hello! I've also met the doctor. And that is a bang on month of my year. Dab. Thanks for watching guys. Give this video a thumbs up, comment below and subscribe. This has been Danger Jeb's The Opposite of Danger. And yes, I just did a dab because it was a bang on month. Bye guys!